previous meeting ran a little long. Happy July. Hopefully everybody was able to <clears throat> enjoy the SLB, um, the Second Life Birthday events. I certainly enjoyed them. We had a couple of very interesting announcements. Lucy, you no longer have to ask me what's included in Premium Plus. You're going to have to come up with other things to ask. Ooh, Teleport Plus. I kind of want that. It's a cool idea, isn't it? Unfortunately, it's not web, so go go talk to your viewer friends. But yeah, Teleport Plus. <laughs> Search Plus. <laughs> We're working on Search Plus right now. Uh, but it won't be a premium service. Everybody gets it. Uh, okay, so I think we have made it through the initial uh, phase. I think everybody that's going to be here is here. If anybody comes in late, um, please be nice. Don't throw things at them. Um, for anyone who hasn't come to these before, uh, just a quick reminder that this is the web user group. So anything that falls outside of the purview of what's happening on the web itself, I probably can't answer. Um, I will tell you if I can't answer it. Um, I will try and, if I can, uh, direct you into the place where that it can. But, you know, specifically governance related things, simulator related things, um, it's not that I don't want to tell you. It's literally that I don't know the answers to those questions. So uh, when we get to the question and answer portion, um, just keep that in mind. Uh, that being said, um, I have a couple of things that I do want to talk about today uh, before we get into that. Um, there was no no homework from, from last month because we were largely uh, kind of gearing up for Premium Plus. Um, that is now out the door, as I mentioned. Um, we're seeing really good adoption rates. Um, we're actually ahead of the schedule that we expected um, for how many people we thought might uh, sign up for Premium Plus if we had done things right. Uh, so very pleased about the uh, the rollout of Premium Plus. That being said, there are a couple of things that uh, we want to fix and a couple of things that we want to add in that I'm uh, happy to um, kind of share with you. So number one and kind of at the top of our list in terms of, uh, you know, kind of like whoopsie daisies uh, is quarterly accounts, so current premium quarterly accounts. Uh, we made the decision a while back that we weren't going to allow any new premium quarterly accounts, but the current quarterly premium accounts would still be supported. We forgot to include them on the membership page. Uh, so we're fixing that literally as we speak. Um, so <laughs> you'll, if you are currently premium quarterly, we do still love you. Um, everything still works the way it sh it's supposed to, and uh, we will give you back the ability to see that you are quarterly and um, importantly if you would like to downgrade or upgrade from quarterly we will give you that ability too. Uh, that is just a mistake on our part and we forgot um, but we'll fix it. Uh, and then the other one that uh, is coming up really really soon and something that we have promised is um, cheaper you know discounted name changes uh, for for premium plus members. Um, and actually, um, while we're in there, we're going to go ahead and make it a little bit cheaper for premium members to do so as well. Uh, so name changes uh, and fixing up the quarterly stuff. And then, you know, like some smaller bug fixes and some new features that we're working on um, kind of down the road that I'm not quite ready to share yet. Um, 
because you know marketing they they like to control that message um let's see oh oh and then the other thing uh that i don't know when it's gonna be ready but the other thing that we're talking about is right now one of the one of the nice uh, benefits for premium plus is that you get to choose your linen home directly uh, not the type of linen home and then you know roll the dice but like literally choose which linen home you want um, right now that has been being handled directly by our support team that's correct lucy well done uh, you can see where i'm going with this soon because i'm working on it it will not be through support you'll be able to do it directly from the website um, that's that's the other kind of major thing that we've got kind of in the hopper uh, to add to premium plus but Moving forward, we're also talking about things like discounting mesh upload fees and uh, specific linen homes for premium plus members, specific VIP areas, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So lots and lots and lots of cool things coming uh, for plus. And as we do things for plus, we will continue to add more things in for premium. So for example, like with name changes, when we add the discounts for, uh, for premium plus, we will also add discounts for premium. So if you are happy with your premium membership, we're happy with you and we would like you to stay and we will give you stuff too. Uh, 30 second sounds, yeah, it's a good question. I don't know, um, like I say, not web, unclear. That's a good question for our uh, server teams, I guess. Let's see, what else did I want to talk about today? Uh, oh, I wanted to talk about some of the um, the things is not a premium plus. We, we were potentially thinking about doing that, but it's not something that we were able to do. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't work. I, I can't answer that for you, Lucy. I'm sorry. Um, in any case, it was no longer on our roadmap. Uh, so new things. Um, the web team specifically from an engineering uh, side is um, redirecting. We're going to start working on the what we're calling the land journey. Uh, so that's going to be all of your linen home, um, you know, things like the that picker, the, the region buying uh, picker, like that whole page. Uh, we're going to start adding in some support for rentals. Um, and, um, you know, just kind of the overall land ownership journey for uh, new users, existing users, power users, um, you know, people who are selling land, people who are renting land, uh, all the way around. I don't know yet. We're, we're thinking about that, Lucy. It's a good question. Don't know how it's uh, rental support, how. We're working on it. Uh, so if you have ideas about it, please feel free to share them. Share them with love, share them with Jira. Uh, and then the other thing that we're, we're looking at is we're going to um, come back to um, the marketplace uh, variants, uh, which we had put on hold for search and premium plus. Uh, so that'll be coming, uh, but that's probably gonna be more like fall. Uh, it's probably not gonna be this summer. Um, instead, for Marketplace, what we're working on right now is all of the search uh, relevancy upgrades that we are making to current search, like the, the web search, we're going to start applying those to the Marketplace as well. So Marketplace search will also get all of the, good, the goodies there. So it'll be things like Boolean searches and fuzzy searches and fuzzy matching and exact matching. Everybody wants the exact matching, so do I. Um, you know, better relevance ranking. Um, you know, special characters, uh, better sorting, better filtering, you know, all of the good stuff across the board. That's the list. That's the stuff. I'm excited about all of it. Uh, longer term, like way, way, way super long term. Uh, I would like to think about, uh, so last, last time we, it was either last time or the time before we talked about uh, what would a new marketplace actually look like for you? What would you want it to look like? Um, I, I'm still interested in that conversation. I'm still thinking in those terms, but like that's literally 2023. That is not 2022. So um, not super soon. Good try, Lucy. Uh, 
How did I do? Ooh, I got it done in 12 minutes. That's amazing. I'm not trying to leave early. I never leave early. I stay here the entire time. But I am trying to give you all as much time as possible to ask me questions. Uh, I suspect there are quite a few, particularly around Premium Plus. Um, I am here to answer as many of those as I can. So go ahead and get at me. Uh, Lexi, the ability to keep marketplace the way it is now. Um, we, so it, it kind of just depends. Um, we haven't decided what we're going to do with the marketplace, uh, in terms of an overhaul or rewrite or whatever you want to call it. We haven't even necessarily decided that we're going to do that yet. We're just thinking about what it might look like if we did. Uh, and once we have that in mind, we can start talking about the way we would implement it. Um, personally and like i say don't hold me to this because this is all just coming off the top of my head what i would like to do is roll out kind of a new you know new marketplace in chunks um you know so initially it would not be feature complete it wouldn't have all the same features that our current marketplace does and we would just do it in parallel so you could use it or you could use the existing marketplace uh, and then continue to do that over time until we do meet feature parity and we start seeing that more people are using the new marketplace than are using the old marketplace uh, and then make a decision at that point whether to just switch over and migrate entirely. Um, but, you know, it's all a, it's a long-term, very theoretical uh, idea right now. Um, so... The, to answer your question directly, you know, like, no, there's no particular plan to get rid of the way Marketplace currently works. Um, so, yeah, if you're happy with it uh, and you're happy with the way it currently works, like, it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Pantera, that's something we can think about. Yeah, um, it, I don't, you know, like the, some of them are really easy to see immediate value and immediate engagement, uh, dark mode, for example. Um, but, you know, if we said, hey, I want it to be screaming pink and, you know, teal, uh, th there might be very few people that would actually want that. So, um, but there might, I might be wrong about that. So that's kind of one of those things that we would like to, essentially do what's called a b test um so you know kind of give people the option to play around with it and see if anybody adopts it and if they do great and if they don't then no problem we just move on with something else um but yeah i mean it's you know things like that you know new new colors different themes uh, i'd like to be able to be in a position there where we can implement those easily and quickly uh, one of the things that we're doing kind of philosophically uh, with all of these various overhauls that we're doing is we're creating content libraries of um, assets uh, that we can reuse uh, throughout rather than having to build, you know, like, for example, like the SL logo, right? Um, you know, we want, we want that logo to be the same logo everywhere. And we want to just store it in one place and have all of the places that consume that logo and display that logo to get it from that one place so that if we ever decide to change it going forward, we can just change it in that one place and everything will just pick it up. Um, that seems very straightforward and seems very logical. You would be surprised how little of that actually exists. Um, so we're trying to fix that. <laughs> Lucy, that is the million bajillion dollar question that I ask every day. Um, and the, the, the best answer I can give you is 19 year old code base. Um, we're trying to fix it up. Uh, it's just stuff that people didn't do originally and we are going back and we're cleaning it up. So, you know, uh, tasty beats. That's a good concern. Um, the, so the, the concern with a slow rollout of features would be abandonment of the project. Um, 
that that's absolutely a concern um that also is the reason to while you are rolling out beta functions to maintain the original as well uh so that there is always a fully functioning uh you know product that everybody is at least nominally happy with uh and continuing to use so that if we do decide to abandon the beta project it's not you know like oh shoot everybody's just left in the dark uh there's no way to do it um but yeah the, that's certainly a legitimate concern there's absolutely no guarantee that once we go down that road we will finish it um in fact that's by design that's that's um actually you know um built right into the whole process is the ability to kind of create things iteratively and create you know this feature and then this feature and then see how it's doing and decide whether or not continuing forward um, makes sense both financially in terms of engagement in terms of you know various priorities like creating more of those decision points rather than pushing the decision point all the way down the road you know where you put in a year's worth of work for an entire team and then you release a thing and then nobody wants to use it right like now you've just wasted a whole year um so instead what you want to do is create those decision points much more frequently um and that is in fact by design because decision points means that you could decide that you're not going to continue What else? I see a lot of new faces here. What you guys got? Claude, it could, yeah. That's correct. Good question, Pantera. Um, so Marketplace, would it be all responsive for mobiles? Yes, from the ground up, that's how we would build it. In fact, that's kind of how the, um, the, the kernel for the idea of, you know, like, hey, what if we just built something new from the ground up came from? Uh, it was looking at the overall scope of work to, you know, make it more mobile friendly and add in these other things where we decided actually it might be easier and better to just rebuild uh, so yes for sure uh, would be um, you know more uh, or, or designed to be responsive and friendly with mobile uh, mobile hardware and then uh, the second question you have is how's the SL client for web or, or web integration going uh, the answer is it's going um we've gone down a couple of different paths uh to try and come up with something that makes sense for uh you know for the viewer for for the clients uh which is all of y'all and you know and for our business uh we haven't adopted anything yet uh we we've run into a couple of you know roadblocks in in certain areas and you know we've run into a couple of places that seem really really interesting uh, so we're pursuing those, um, but I don't have any specific, um, like very specific, uh, this is the thing that is happening. Um, we're kind of pursuing a bunch of different avenues. Um, you know, there's, you're probably aware that there's a number of third parties, uh, that make stuff, uh, off the top of my head, Luna, for example. Um, so, you know, that's the that's one of the potential paths we are potentially looking at, you know, is pursuing people like that. But we're also looking at building something in-house, what that would look like. So how's it going? Going, but I got nothing, I got no news. Nothing to, nothing to say, yes, it's great. It's here. Or, you know, or no, we're not going to do it at all. I don't have either of those.
does bring up an interesting question. Like in lieu of an, an actual mobile viewer, right? So an actual mobile client or uh, yeah, like web client. Um, you know, we, we've been talking about what types of things would be interesting uh, for people to be able to engage with uh, the, you know, on the web. So like kind of, let, let's call it engage with the core product, right? So, you know, marketplace is kind of a separate thing from uh, from Second Life. I mean, it's it's the place where you go buy stuff to use in Second Life, but it's not actually Second Life itself. Similar to, you know, a lot of our other web properties, maps and events and places and, um, you know, the, the name change stuff, right? Like those are all things that you do kind of, you know, to the side of Second Life, but they aren't actually Second Life itself. So I, I'm curious, like what types of things would be interesting to do on the web that engage more closely with the core product? Um, and I'll give you a couple of hints. So a couple of the things that we're looking at, for example, are chat. Um, you know, maybe group chat, maybe chat with your friends, um, you know, that kind of thing without having to log into the viewer. So something that you could do through, through the web. Um, we're also looking at um, potential like inventory uh, management, although that one's, that one's sticky. There's a lot of issues there. Um, you know, how do you, how do you make sure that any change that I make on my inventory on the web also happens in world and, you know, that kind of stuff. So lots of things to iron out there, but that's the kind of things that we were thinking of. Um, I'm curious if any of y'all have, uh, any thoughts or other suggestions of, you know, things that would be interesting to you, uh, you know, on the web, um, there, there are a couple of things that we do expose, like so, for example, you can do some region management on the web, um, but, you know, that's kind of, it's pretty niche. That's only for, for estate owners. Um, it's not, it's not really, uh, it doesn't, doesn't really like move the needle for overall engagement. Um, but we're, we're trying to think how, how we can use this, this web-based platform to uh, help people engage more directly with their, with the core product. So I'd be interested to hear any, any suggestions y'all have along those lines. Lexi, someone can, that's absolutely something that can happen. You may not like the results, but someone can totally clean your inventory, inventory for you. In fact, I can do it right now. <laughs> I can nuke your whole inventory. Uh, Lou, I am reading your question right now. Uh, Lou, that's a known issue. Um, I don't, I don't know exactly where we are on that one. Uh, let me get back to you. Uh, I'll ping you directly on that. I need to, I need to talk to the team, but it, it, it rings a bell. It's, it's a thing that I know is on our radar. Pantera, I'm reading about 3d not being a priority. Yeah, voice would be interesting. So our voice server is done, voice service is done through Vivox. I don't know if Vivox would allow, I don't know. I, that's, I, I haven't even thought down that road um, in terms of having them connect, you know, local voice in, in a simulator to somebody that's, that's coming in through the web. That could be interesting. It's a good thought. Jenna, yes. Uh, okay, so the the web map. Um, <laughs> there's there's a couple of issues with that that box that comes up um, that we we are trying to figure out how to fit into our roadmap, which unfortunately is really tight. Um, there's there's not a whole lot of extra wiggle room, but we're trying to figure out how to fit into our roadmap. We have lots of thoughts about fixing that, uh, and you are right in line. 
uh, that join second life box that is there whether you're uh, logged in as a user or not is kind of ridiculous. I agree. Uh, Lucy just wants to tell me everything that's broken. Already aware. Thank you. And yep. Okay. I think I'm in. Uh, Aveline did used to be a thing, but it was a third party service that we just didn't find a lot of, um, a lot of return on our investment from that is so old that I barely remember it. And I've been here for 11 years like that that got killed pretty much either right after I joined or right before. Maybe it's better now. Who knows? No more questions about Premium Plus. Everybody loves it. It's great. No curiosity about what was offered, what wasn't. It is raining where I'm at, Lucy. Is that actually picking up on the mic? That's crazy. Oh, listen to that salt. You'll never know until you ask. Uh, web version of the S SLI Slim Viewer? Ifrit, I don't know what that is. Wow. It's a product we make and I don't know what it is. Oh, I see. Yeah, that might be either before my time or before I was paying attention. Uh, Pantera, more landing pages. Yeah, that's actually, um, we don't have anything uh, directly planned for our team, but our marketing team is doing um, a lot of work in that direction. Uh, so we're definitely looking in that direction, like more landing pages for uh, more more distinct types of users. Absolutely. Absolutely. Large scripts through any pay schema. Um, Lucy, no, I don't think we are. Uh, I haven't heard anything. But I don't know why not. Um, I, I haven't heard anything uh, being talked about that. I mean, can you can you explain more? Like, why would you want it? What would you be? Like what's the what's the use case? What do you not have that you would like? You tell me why I want to talk about it. Doesn't cut it. All right. Say more. Why doesn't it cut it?
Jenna, I am reading your question. Sorry that I missed it earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh, so second dot life domain. Um, we do have plans for that. And yes, they're vaguely secret. So sorry. <laughs> But yes, we own it, and we would like to continue owning it, and we have ideas for what to do with it. And I'm not at liberty to share that. Lucy circling back. Splitting scripts adds complexity. That... Um, at, at the risk of, of feeding into your, your saltiness. <laughs> uh, that may be true. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't know about uh, the, the LL scripting all that much. So um, we do another team. Neener, neener. I think you know which team, too. It's not delegation if I don't actually know the answer. I just don't. We have we have a user group for content generators. It's there. Go to that one. <laughs> that's that's where that answer is supposed to come from. Uh, Pantera, there are experiments on the places page. Um, and we would like to do more. Um, so previously in this, this meeting, I had asked, what do we actually want from places? I still don't have good answers to that. Um, there are the place page, as far as I'm concerned, is a vaguely failed product uh, that I own. Um, and I would like to fix it. Uh, and I'm, I'm struggling with how to fix it. Uh, and I'm also struggling with how to make it go away if it just needs to go away because there are some things that use it. Auctions, for example, uh, it's really important in terms of auctions. So um, I, I think that there is a world in which place pages could be a really cool addition to our product uh, and could be something that is very useful to, you know, uh, people in terms of engagement, in terms of you know, making their second life experience better, or letting them, uh, you know, kind of broadcast out, you know, beyond the second life community about, you know, the cool places that they go and cool things that they see and all that other stuff. I mean, I, I think that there's a kernel there of something that could be really, really interesting. It's just not there currently. Um, and it's a, it's, it's a, a thing that I kind of like scratch my head about on an almost daily basis. So, Pantera, to answer your question directly, like, yeah, we're, we're trying to figure out what to do with places pages. Um, it's, I, I can tell you one thing for sure, it will not remain in, the, in its current state in the long term. I will do something to it. I just don't know what yet. Uh, Lucy, so there, fair enough. Uh, if you're asking, is the, on anybody's roadmap, the answer is no. That I can answer directly. Yeah, Pantera, I think that's right. Um, the... Uh, we're, we're, I'm, I'm really interested in doing more of that type of kind of large scale, broad scale customer research. Um, it's, it's something that we have done very haphazardly here at the, at the lab, um, when we, when we do it at all. And, uh, it's one of the things that I would like to start being more, uh, more deliberate about. Um, so I'm with you. I, I think 
you know, polls on the forums, uh, you know, we have uh, instant polling on our various web properties that we can throw out. Uh, I'd like to start leveraging, um, leveraging those for these types of questions. Uh, I think that this group is really useful for us um, because it does allow me as a product owner to get kind of a pulse of, you know, the types of things that, that real users are thinking about, looking for, you know, what they want, what they don't like, um, you know, things that are interesting to them, things that are not interesting to them. You know, for example, in this, in this meeting, uh, you know, one of the takeaways that I have is like, oh, you know, no one really seems to be super, you know, hot and bothered about, uh, you know, things that didn't make it onto the premium plus list or things that did, um, you know, no one so far has been complaining too much about the price. So, you know, like, Hey, these are, that's, that's all kind of good feedback for me. Um, but you know, that doesn't mean that no one is, it just means that this group isn't, um, you know, at the moment. So, uh, the, you know, getting wider about that stuff is, is absolutely something that I'd like to do. Uh, Lucy, grid scope experience purchasing and upgrading. Um, that is uh, on various roadmaps, but it's further down the road because we're still trying to figure out how that would work. Um, grid scope experiences are, well, actually, I think you have one. Um, so, you know, it's kind of in beta, uh, as it were, and has kind of remained there because it's something that has a lot of complexity to it um but yeah it was one of the things that we were kind of thinking about with premium plus that we'd like to continue thinking about jenna yeah i've read the criticism on the forums i wasn't talking about on the forums i was talking about in this room Yeah, so Lucy, that's the the last thing that you wrote there is actually really helpful. So that's the kind of stuff that is is helpful feedback, you know, saying like, hey, look, I need this specific functionality. Um, you know, like partitioning capability is missing and here's the use case. This is what I was trying to do and it didn't work or this is what I would like to do and I can't. Um, those types of things are really helpful to help build the case for, hey, this is this is a more important uh, thing to be looking at. I mean, it's it's important to realize, right? Like, you know, our roadmaps, at least in the general sense, are years long. Like, there's getting new stuff in there <clears throat> can be can be difficult. We have to make business cases for it, so it's easier for us to make business cases <clears throat> when we have very specific. Um, you know, specific things that we can point at and say, well, here's, here's the exact use case, right? Um, I think earlier someone had said something along the lines of, well, you know, like that thing just sucks. Like, well, that's not helpful. Jenna, yeah, no, that's that's fair. Uh, if you don't, I mean, I guess that's kind of my point was that one of my takeaways was that, oh, well, at least in this group, there wasn't a whole lot of interest in talking about that. That's okay. Um, that, that's, that's not a failure. That's just feedback, right? Uh, to your second point, having premium plus launched with a lot of features relying on support seemed a little half-baked. Agree. Uh, that's why we're trying to, um, you know, go through and, and put all those uh, in, you know, more of a programmatic way. Completely agree. Mm -hmm. Yep, we are committed. I am personally committed. I own Premium Plus. It is mine. Uh, I am personally committed to fixing all of those and continuing to put out, you know, not just like fix the things that are already a little bit funky, but like add new cool stuff in as we go.
Let's see. Who haven't I heard from? Who can I pick on? Uh, Gabe. What's up? What can I do for you today? Lexi, good question. No, there are not currently 2048 lots, uh, assuming that you mean for Linden Homes. Um, so you can't get them. However, however, uh, Jenna is correct. That is definitely something that is coming soon. There's a lot of moving parts to that. So like the moles and patches team, you know, over on product. Uh, are on, on um, product ops, I should say. So the land team, they have to create those and they create them all by hand. Um, so all of those have to be created before we can start offering them. Uh, so, you know, stay tuned on that one and mostly stay tuned to, um, to their announcements rather than mine. So that won't come out of, uh, from this team, um, that comes out of the land team. But yeah, they're definitely looking into that. Because, you know, linen homes are, it's one of the main things that people like about having a premium subscription. And there's no reason why that would be different for premium plus. Okay, good. No problem. Welcome. Yeah, no problem, Lexi. Yeah, no, it's a good question. And I'm happy to talk about it. Like I say, there, we're, we're definitely working on those. Ooh, Pantera asking me the meaty questions. Okay, hold on, let me read this again. Are other levels planned for the future? Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to, pick at that one word planned and say no we don't have anything planned there's nothing written down that says we are for, for sure doing this that being said are we really interested in having more levels or even like some sort of a la carte system absolutely That's correct. Hope is correct. Wasn't planned until it was planned. Lucy, a la carte is not currently on the table. Don't 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 misunderstand me. We have no plans for a la carte. Are we interested in some I in like looking at what that looks like and putting in support for it? Yes, we are. But no, we are not currently doing any a la carte options. There is nothing planned to do so. I think it would be useful to a lot of people. I, I personally, I'm a big believer in it. Um, <laughs> premium minus. <laughs> All I want is the stipends. I don't care about all the rest of it. Yeah. Um, uh, we actually made jokes about premium minus, but you know, that's, uh, it might be in there, right? Like a kind of a slim version of premium. Um, we'll see, uh, you know, like right now we're, we're still in the, the afterglow of premium plus and having, you know, pushed that through, but to Pantera's point, like one of the things that we had to do in the course of creating premium plus was teach all of the things that, you know, your your account type wasn't just a binary. It wasn't just true or false, you know, is premium or isn't. It could be any number of things. So now that we've taught all of our systems that that can be the case, that opens the door for us to start implementing more types of premium or more types of subscription services. Uh, and so, you know, now that we have that ability kind of baked in, we will absolutely think about how to leverage it one of those things we could think about is a la carte but you know again being very clear we are not currently planning on doing any a la carte but we now have the options to start thinking about that 
and I like that song. Uh, so, like, fair enough. If we did a la carte, hey, Lucy, which a la carte options would you want specifically? Like, what is the one or two or five things that you want? Yeah, like, what is the feature? So I get that you want an a la carte option. Which, which things? You're trolling me. It's funny though. Ah, okay. So you're just complaining. Fair enough. Ooh, Lexi, that's good to hear. Glad to hear it. Jenna, yeah, extra land here is an a la carte option. That, that one's, I mean, arguably we already have that, right? Like you can pay for a land tier for however much you want. I'm not sure that that needs to be rolled into an extra subscription model. Or maybe, a, let me turn that around as a question. How is that different from what we already offer? How about that? Pantera, so like the same question uh, that I asked Jenna, how, how is, we already offer you the ability to buy land tier a la carte. Like as soon as you're, do you mean like as a non-premium member? So I don't, I don't want to be premium at all. I want to be basic, but I want to be able to buy land tier. a premium on subscription hmm. Pantera I think I'm still confused um, I, I get the idea that as a basic account I want to be able to pay for the ability to have a linen home totally get that fair enough um, that one makes sense to me I, what what I'm still struggling with is as a premium subscriber I want to be able to have the option to pay to have more mainland tier I think you can already do that. Um, I'm just, I'm not sure how that's different from what is already offered. Not arguing, just asking for clarification. What is, what's your vision there? Uh, Naya, so I do envision um, something that, that might be more targeted to specific uh, specific types of, of users. So like content creators, for example, uh, I would like to have some, you know, like content premium, uh, you know, or, you know, some subscription model 
uh, that you know adds um, you know a specific uh, type of you know or set of of benefits to you know to that that group of users specifically. That being said, current premium plus. I, I don't personally envision it as specifically targeted toward content creators. Um, there are certainly options in there that are kind of targeted in that direction, right? Like upload fees and whatnot. Um, but the the main kind of the, what we consider like the the marquee offerings are more general, right? So you know, land tier, stipend, uh, groups, um, you know those types of things, you know, group limits, like those are uh, a bit more generalized. Um, but yeah, I would be interested in, you know, what would a, what would a group of benefits specifically targeted toward, you know, content creators or specifically targeted toward role players or specifically targeted toward, you know, some other, uh, you know, some other more specific group, um, you know, maybe, you know, brand new users as they're, something that you know they would be you know like they might not care about the upload fees but they might care about something else right um so yeah i would totally be interested in you know going down those paths good question naya jenna i'm reading your clarification Uh, so Jenna, the interesting part there, so that's, that's, a what you've described is, is, um, failure of communication on our part. Um, so I can think about how to, how to make that more clear. Um, as I understand it, and I, I want to be clear that we're, we're starting to get on touchy ground that, uh, maybe I'm, I'm going to misrepresent. So somebody correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but if you want to, if you are currently premium and you want to buy more land, which is to say, you know, more land tier, you just go buy the land in world and it will automatically upgrade your land tier to the appropriate amount. Um, and vice versa, if you are not using that tier, when your review date comes up, it will downgrade you to the appropriate, uh, whatever you are using. I'm pretty sure it works that way. Um, you don't have to, you know, do anything um, to, to kind of make that, it will release tier that you're not using. So if it's not donated to a group and it's not, you know, currently being maintaining land, we won't charge you for it, I believe. We only charge you for however much you're actually using. Yeah, thanks, Gabe. Uh, Ifrit, I'm reading yours. Uh, upload cost, group cap, experience keys, message cap. Okay. Um, yeah, interesting. So, I mean, that's that's very similar to the offerings that we were giving for Premium Plus. I, I mean, I would imagine there's a lot of overlap. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Reading yours, Pantera. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense, Pantera. Yeah. The the idea for basic users to be able to buy, um, to buy land, uh, buy mainland specifically. Uh, that's we've we've gone run and run on that. Um, we we went down that road. Ugh. A few years ago, um, there were some technical and, and kind of business hurdles to it, uh, but I think it's still something that is an interesting idea, and I'd like to figure out how to do it. I agree. Hopefully that clarified. Yeah, Pantera, hopefully I'm, I'm answering your question now. Thank you for the clarification. Lucy, yep, get it. Uh, you want an a la carte? Understood. Ooh, 
to free a commercial or store version of linen homes. Oh, that's definitely something I'll bring to patch. I like that idea. Hope that's a good question. I mean, you know, like you you would do the normal and and I don't I'm not suggesting that this is what we're doing, but if, you know, you were just looking at the way other companies and and other businesses have done similar things is that the a la carte versions if you added them all together would cost more to buy a la carte than it would be to cost than it would cost to buy the bundled. Um and that's how you make the bundle and a you know an attractive offering but there's business math and marketing math around that right It's a it's a very standard type of pricing structure, right? Like if you only want the one thing, well then obviously it's going to cost you less than the bundle. But if you want to replicate all of the items in the bundle, you'll probably end up paying more for them individually than if you just bought the bundle. That's pretty standard, and I don't I don't know that we would do it if we did it at all. That we would do it any differently. Because you're right, we do want to maintain the the attractiveness of the bundle, right? Like you don't want to obsolete it. Yeah, if I I like where where you're headed there. Um kind of make them the each of the the linen home areas kind of more like a a full community. So it's got, you know, your residential, but then also kind of uh, the commercial areas too. Yeah, I like that idea. I will absolutely bring it to Patch's team. I talk to them all the time. Oh, shoot, we're at time. Man, see, I was having fun talking. Uh, it is 3 o'clock. That is our end game time. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Um, happy July. Please enjoy your summer if you're in the northern hemisphere and your winter if you are in the southern hemisphere. And I will see everybody in August. <laughs>